Hey everybody, it's Dave here again. It's uh, May 4th, so this is about 10 days since I've done my last update here. Uh, the tomatoes are growing bigger. The guys that started a little taller, I got them from the plant place. Uh, some of the lettuces are coming out good, some more than others. Like this arugula here isn't quite as good as these guys. Uh, celery's getting thicker. Check the roots. Nice roots on this guy. And this one's coming out. Get some little white roots there. That's going good. I haven't checked any of these guys. It's coming. I don't know if this guy, this guy didn't have it. Oh, yeah, he's starting to get some roots there. So that's good. Uh, this guy's gotten quite a bit bigger, I think. It's hard to tell. These leaves are definitely bigger. Well, I'll have to check last week, which is kind of why I do these videos. I can kind of compare and see what's happening. This habanero is doing good. Uh, this peach ghost uh, hasn't really done anything, so I'm going to swap him out for this guy, which I've been growing in a can, just because I want to have a, a good peach ghost pepper plant going this year. So I'm going to swap him out today. I did uh, a couple more things just to try. Uh, just these pickling cucumbers. He had a root, so he's going in. Just in a bucket with some nutrients. It's called a crab key bucket for anyone who wants to try that. It's pretty cool. And these are uh, 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 beefsteak tomatoes. Same as these guys. So a good comparison here to see what's going on. Because these haven't really taken off yet. Uh, nutrients. I didn't spill anything this week, so that's good. And... I think I still have water. Yep, the water's still good, so I am going to top up that today. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Ready for some salads. Uh, I wish there was more pepper plants in here, which I realize there's a lot of cucumber. But, but I do like making pickles, so it sounds bad. I did change this guy out, so I did have a pea that was growing good inside, so I'll take that. Uh, some of the suckers off these guys, so a sucker is, uh, hopefully you focus here. So this guy here, the, the middle part of this, you can just twist this off and just put this end in water and you'll have another plant. And it'll make this one healthier. So I, I took a couple off that and then I'm going them inside. But that's another guy I can start today. Uh, I haven't checked the roots on all these guys. I don't know if they're coming through yet or not. Uh, not really. Oh, oh, there's some coming down the side if you can see it. They're definitely coming. And I did add these white little pipes just to keep these lines from popping out when the pump kicks on. Uh, any roots? No roots yet. Curious to see if this guy, what he's doing. Oh, yeah, there's a. Coming out good. So he's happy. That'll be good. So that's pretty much it for uh, I think it's 10 days since I started so and I'll show you some stuff inside too and maybe I'll just do a time lapse of me changing this one out so you can see all right one sec
Okay, so that was a successful transformation. Uh, pretty crazy roots on the on this guy. I didn't think they'd be that big in the can. So hopefully this guy will take off and do the same thing. So we were put in on the same day, but uh, just chose different paths in life. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go inside and I'll show you a bit about what I got growing there and how it's grown up. Oh, look at it. Got some pods out coming here already. That's excellent. Uh, and I'll plant this guy. I'll show you the oh. And there's the pump coming on. Oh. See, this is why I have these guys. So you gotta bury it. Where is that plug? Oh. Probably meant to get hydrogen plugged in there. There you go. There's some action there. So I was cutting these up a bit with some hydrogen to get going. And that's the sound. You can see that the water comes down there. All right, I'll go inside. Okay, so this is uh, inside. I have two Kratky buckets that I'm doing. Uh, I already got some strawberries there. I got another pepper plant, some, uh, I think that's a bush pickle there, more arugula, some collards, another ghost pepper that's kind of in the same spot as the other one. Uh, the one I just brought in is here. But I got a bunch of other ones that are they're doing quite well in the cans. So that's good. Some of the leaves are drying out. I'll move them around. Uh, the next round of stuff to go in. And I, I just put a number on it. And then I got a, a list of what the number coordinates to. Uh, trying to grow a pineapple. That's for my friend Robin. Uh, this is the second plant that I get all of these guys off. So there's a bunch of those and a bunch more down here that, you know, just trying to see if I can grow them all in beer cans. Uh, some of these roots are pretty cool. This uh, basil plant is just the one that I got last week. Well, it's not the, I just took a cutting off this guy. And that's here. And I'm just using a pool noodle, so you don't need the, the hydrogen. Uh, and then this is just in nutrients. But see the roots on that guy already? It's crazy. Yeah, so just nutrient water there. So got some lettuce. Got some strawberries here. Already. So that's cool. Uh, and this is the tomato suckers that I got. So I'll just put them in water and wait for these to grow some roots. Like this guy that I just put in here. And then this is the big pepper plant I had from last year. Uh, two of the three survived. So there's the ghost pepper, the Carolina Reaper, and the Trinidad Scorpion. I'm not sure which one it is that didn't last for the winter, but that'll be in the greenhouse when it warms up. Yeah, so fun stuff. Grow food. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll be posting probably every week this year, I think, because it's fun for me to see where it's going. Oh, this was an interesting one. This is a Thai basil from my favorite uh, noodle place. And I just did the same thing, put it in water, grew some roots, and... Seems to be fairly happy, drying out a bit of the water. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Make frames, make cool stuff.